Hello everyone, so in today's video, I will talk about one of the most destination in Bali, namely Ulun Danu Bratan Temple. So Ulun Danu Bratan Temple is a temple that located in the uh, in the Badugur district, Tabanan Regency. And this temple is very beautiful, very famous uh, in the for the Balinese, for the foreigners of Indonesia. And it's very, this temple is very famous because this temple is beautiful and surrounded by the stunning view of Lake Bratan. So if we talk about Ulundanu Bratan Temple, it can be traced back to the rise of the Mengui Kingdom. So it means that uh, the rise of the Mengui Kingdom is the time when the this temple was built. So the name of the Ulundanu Bratan Temple is taken from the from the place where this temple was built at the Breton Lake, so that name becomes uh, Ulundan the Breton Temple because the temple it was built in the Breton Lake, and then the name of the Breton Temple is inseparable with the with the Breton Mount as the deity, as the fertility source, and also prosperity in life and also in the society. So actually this temple was made in the 17th century as the worship or dedicated to the trinity hindu trinities god brahma vishnu and siva as well as the god uh, the lake godness namely uh, namely devi danu so it can be seen from the concept that used in creating in build in building this temple that the temp this temple is for this temple follow the concept of three murti in hindu uh, so the three murti is the concept of the three main expectations of god including brahma vishnu and siva in which the hindus in bali believes that brahma as the creature of the universe uh, Vishnu as the symbol of balance of this universe and also uh, Siwa becomes the destroyer so this temple is uh, very uh, con uh, is very related to the concept of Trimurti in Bali uh, so Ulundanu Bratan Temple itself is dominated with the Merus, Merus or pagodas that dedicated to the to the uh, to the Lake Godness Dewi Danu and also to the Godness of the of the Batur of the Batur Mount and also Agung Mount as the as the big volcanoes, the most biggest volcanoes in Bali. So actually, this temple has four kinds of building. For the first one is Pura Lingapura, that it is dedicated to the worship of the Sifa God. And there will be Pura Puncak Manggu, that Pura Puncak Manggu is built as the worship of the Vishnu's God. And uh, Urugana Temple also has a building namely uh, Pura Trataibang, in which Pura Trataibang is a temple uh, where the uh, where the people can pray for the worship of the uh, God Brahma, and the last temple is called as the uh, Pura Dalam Pura, and this temple is dedicated to the main God in Hindu in Bali, namely Ida Sanyang Widiwasa. So the Ulun Danu Bratan Temple itself actually has two kinds of ceremony. So ceremony. So the first ceremony is, is will be held on Anggara or Tuesday, on Kliwon Juluwangi based on the Balinese calendar. So uh, this ceremony is executed in every six months, and then in every twelve every twelve months, uh, the ceremony will be had is more bigger than the ordinary ceremony that it is called as a pure dalan agung then, and then the second ceremony is called as the paklam ceremony in which paklam ceremony is will be had in any times based on the situation and also the condition so it is different with the previous ceremony because the previous ceremony has their own date 
and this maklum ceremony is held in uh, in any times uh, uh, as i explained that the uh, this ceremony is held uh, in accordance with the situation and also the conditions so the pakalam ceremony itself has the functions to to reward the word uh, to reward the word for the fertility the prosperity and anything that the word given to the human uh, in the in the in that place so the uh, the pakalam ceremony is very is very important by the people around the temple because this uh this maklum ceremony uh, can make the balance of the ecosystem in bali so i think that's all about the about the explanation about ulun dan temples and see you to the next video and bye bye